Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our sixth podcast. Uh, I'm Dennis Buckley, Mayor of the City of Beach Grove, and today uh, we have a special guest with us. We're going to talk to uh, our next clerk treasurer here in a minute, but uh, I want to go through a couple things with you. I'm going to go back through our walk sheet that we uh, distribute when we knock on your door, and uh, you've seen these uh, in your door. Uh, if you're not at uh, home, we will leave these there and, and uh, little, with a little message, uh, sorry that we missed you. But I'm running for re-election on November the 5th. Jim Kaufman, who owns Eckstein Shoe Store, is running for clerk treasurer and he'll be with us here in a minute. Our two council of large candidates, Ashley Pylan and Buddy Templin. Our district one candidate, Elizabeth Lamping. District two is Vito Mascari. District 3 is Jeff Dees, District 4 is Avis Fryson, and District 5 is Dave Harrison. This is a very solid ticket that is ready to lead you uh, to the next step. So, uh, before we talk to Jim, I have a couple of uh, messages that are good news that I want to pass on to you. Uh, last Thursday, a week ago today, NDOT opened the bids for the roundabout construction project at Churchill Bypass in Arlington. Reith Riley was the most responsive bidder, and uh, they uh, will be awarded the contract to construct the roundabout. The roundabout should begin sometime next spring, but it is a $1.7 million project. Our share of 325000 was paid this week, so the construction cost has totally been paid for. NDOT will pay their balance of $1.3 million. So that is a good economic uh, development tool for our city, and uh, it is one of the reasons that uh, our friends at Amazon have uh, decided to come to Beach Grove. So, we are excited to see that happen, and uh, we look forward to it spurning more business. Last Tuesday, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I announced that our friends at Milestone are relocating their headquarters to the city of Beach Grove. That is wonderful news for us. They are going to be located on Emerson Avenue, north of Amtrak. So construction should begin very soon, but they are going to invest $11 million in our city with a new office complex and new maintenance and storage garage. We will begin talking with them very soon about phase two. So this may be the largest investment that this city has seen in several years, if ever. So we're very excited about that. They are relocating 110 jobs into our city. Plus they are adding 25 new jobs for a total of 135. Uh, these are good paying jobs. Uh, the average uh, hourly rate is between 36 and $37 per hour. Milestone is one of the leading uh, highway contractors uh, in the state of Indiana. So uh, the council approved a uh, resolution for five-year abatement uh, last Monday night. And I told the council that uh, 15, 20 years from now, when none of us are holding elected position, whoever is in those positions is going to be thankful for the work that was done last Monday night. On a political note, uh, I'm going to pass on that uh, yesterday I received uh, notification from the Indy Chamber that they have endorsed uh, my candidacy for mayor uh, once again. They were with me in the last election and I'm very happy about it. You talk about a dedicated group of professionals who promote uh, all kinds of business in Marion County, including the city of Beach Grove, and they are a good friend to us. And I am uh, very grateful for their endorsement and their trust, and I look forward to continually working with them uh, once this election ends. So we're going to take a break. We'll be right back and we're going to talk to the next court treasurer.
Welcome back, everyone. And uh, our next court treasurer, Jim Kaufman, has uh, joined me here at the table. And, and uh, I wanted to, to get Jim's face in front of the cameras. Most of you know him already, and, and uh, he's a great guy, runs a great business down here on Main Street, is very active in the community, uh, has a wonderful family, and uh, he is going to be an excellent court treasurer for the city. But I wanted Jim to talk a little bit about himself and, and, and talk about his family and, and uh, uh, where they live at and all kinds of stuff. So Jim, take off. Very good. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I want to thank you for allowing me to be here today to introduce myself uh, to the citizens of Beach Grove. Um, I'm excited to be on Mayor Buckley's team. Uh, I think there's been a lot of good things that have happened over the last eight years, uh, and I'm honored to be on the Buckley team this year. Myself, uh, again, my name is Jim Kaufman. Uh, I'm one of 10 kids. My family were born and raised here in Beach Grove. My father uh, taught at Beach Grove High School from 72 to 82. Many people, when we're out knocking on doors, they say, I think I know your dad and your mom, and I remember them. Um, so either caught, taught them, coached them, or as their financial advisor. So I know a lot of people know me through him and my mother. Um, both my mother was a Beach Grove graduate, um, born and raised in Beach Grove as well. Um, and I, I owe a lot of where I am now to them. So I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be their child. And I, I think I know a lot of them, a lot of my success here in Beach Grove to them. Um, I'm married to Jennifer. Uh, she is a 2001 graduate of uh, Beach Grove High School. We live on the south side of Beach Grove off of Ninth Avenue. Two kids, Claire is five and Alex will be two in January. So again, um, I'm excited to be here. This is my first podcast, so I apologize if I sound a little nervous, but I'm excited and uh, just excited to share my vision for the city of Beach Grove. Jim is, is and you, you could tell uh, if you don't know Jim, Jim is one of these young professionals that we need to be in, have in government uh, to lead us uh, down the road in the future. Uh, Jim, tell us a little bit about the uh, X-Time Shoe Store. Yeah, so um, I actually went to, my college degree is from IU in criminal justice. So I was a private investigator for about eight years. Great job, uh, learned a lot, traveled a lot, just was never home very often. So about eight years ago, we started looking for another job, seeing what I could do just to be home. My parents came to me and said, hey, there's a shoe store on Main Street. We think it'd be a great business for you to run. What do you think about that? And I it had never crossed my mind to own a shoe store. I always wanted to be a small business owner uh, on Main Street. So I said, well, we'll give it a try. And eight years later, it was probably one of the best decisions uh, that I've made, both personally, uh, financially. And I again, I appreciate my parents allowing me to go in with that purchase with them. Um, so again, that's eight years ago. The shoe store has been here since 1923. It is one of the oldest businesses here in the city of Beach Grove. In just eight years, when we purchased the shoe store eight years ago, you can just see a drastic difference on Main Street. Uh, about eight years ago, there were a lot of open buildings. Now it's, it's hard to find an open spot on Main Street. Main Street is thriving again, and I'm very excited to be a part of that. There's a lot of groups here in Beach Grove that have worked hard to get Main Street to where it is now. The current administration, the city council, a couple of nonprofits, Next Stop Beach Grove, Beach Grove Chamber, there's a few groups and a lot of volunteers who have worked very hard to get Main Street where it is now. And I'm just excited to be a part of that and excited to see where the next four years will take it. You know, I've uh, bought uh, four pair of shoes from uh, uh, x Shoes and, and Jim's uh, and Mary's really good about uh, working with you on pricing and giving you discounts, unless you're me. Right. Uh, I think I make up the difference. So I wanted to get that plug. <laughs> there you go. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Yeah. It doesn't so, hurt. Well, Jim, uh, you've been around and you've seen it. And uh, you tried last uh, last election cycle to run for court. Uh, why would you choose to do this? I think there's been a lot of good things happening in the city of Beach Grove. And I want to be a part of that, a part of that process. I want to see where the city can go financially. Uh, we're bringing big businesses in. Small businesses are coming in and big businesses are choosing to relocate to the city of Beach Grove, which is a very exciting thing to be a part of. The current administration and being a part of that administration, I think is something that I, I want to be a part of is just to see what else I can bring to the table uh, to help along the process of continuing to see Beach Grove succeed. Uh, the clerk treasurer is is, is a very big job and it's a tough job and 
Um, I'm excited to have that, that possibility of becoming the next clerk treasurer for the city. The clerk treasurer is in charge of the purse strings for the citizens who pay the taxes and pay the money to for their property. So they're in charge of that money, so the clerk treasurer must be responsible, must be fiscally conservative. Um, there's only a certain amount of money to be spent, so we can't go above that. The clerk treasurer must work with the city council, the mayor, the current administration, the department heads, everybody must work as a team to make sure that we are being fiscally conservative, that we're not going above our means, that we're able to fulfill the needs of each department and the city services. There's always gonna be some wants there that the departments will, will want to have, and it might be a possibility for tomorrow, but today we need to know what do we need and how can we make sure that we can fulfill those needs to provide, continue to provide the services that the citizens of Beach Grove have become accustomed to over the last eight years. Uh, what more can I say? You know, Jim is uh, is the type of person that we need in office. Uh, uh, you have the opportunity to vote him in office on November the 5th. I'm voting for Jim Coffin, and uh, I think he's going to serve the city well. And uh, Jim, I thank you for coming in and, and spending a little time with mm -hmm. us this morning. Yeah. I appreciate the opportunity, sir. And again, I'm very excited to be on, on the team and see where the next four years can take us. We will be back. Uh, in about a week for one more podcast before uh, the November 5th election. So thank you very much. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks.